Hi, this is Vicky Romaine with Cheerful Greetings. And today we're going to be using some popsicle sticks. These are uh, leftover sticks from all the popsicles we've had this summer. I'll clean them up and uh, have them now ready to use. There wasn't any reason to go out and buy a uh, package of popsicle sticks when I already had them uh, here as a result of all of our ice cream eating. I have some images here that go from vintage to um, architectural to mechanical um, nature. And then I have some that are, or what I would call steampunk or wonky. And so uh, I'm going to be using the vintage Im images first. And you will see that what we're going to make could fit into any of these categories. Um, of course, the first one I'm going to be doing is, is my vintage. Uh, the writing around the edge tells me that I had gotten it from uh, Moonlight Journey when I was on their team a long time ago. And uh, I had him left over from a, a sheet and had him stored away for a right good while, so I thought I would use him. Okay, now I've, I've cut out my little uh, man here. He's just about finished. Now the things I show you, uh, I'll be using just one um, journal or album that I've made just to give you an idea of what you can do. Um, of course, these different uh, styles wouldn't all go in the same uh, album. In other words, you wouldn't want your vintage in with your um, nature album and you wouldn't want the nature album in with your steampunk or wonky looking images. So I'm just giving you an overall idea of what you can do with these images. Okay, my little man is just about finished here. Okay, I got him cut out. So now I'm going to pick up a popsicle stick and um, uh, see basically how tall he is in comparison to the popsicle stick. And I'm going to put some glue. I'm using rubber cement. Uh, I like the rubber cement because I can slide my images after I put it down. If you were really observant when I flipped my little man over, you would have noticed that there was a print or drawing of some sort on the back. And uh, if he were um, my finished piece, I would have put a piece of book page on the back. That way it would have been covered up. Right now I have a little spot here that I didn't where I didn't cut it close enough. So I'm just gonna trim it off. Now let's look and see what else I have here that could be in the vintage category. I have a, a woman and a man. They're approximately the same size. And this is from um, a Tim Holtz uh, kit. It has a bunch of these and they're all different sizes. So I picked two that are basically the same size because I want them to go together. While I'm doing this, it makes me think, you know, these, these would be cute for a puppet presentation. Uh, I hadn't thought of that until just then. But uh, right now we're making them to insert into uh, pockets or um, belly bands. And uh, they can also be used as a bookmark. I don't think the popsicle stick is uh, too thick 
to put into a book, uh, even a junk journal book or a vintage book. I, I feel like the popsicle stick isn't uh, uh, too thick for use in those manners as a, a bookmark. Now I thought, I think these are cute. Man and woman, vintage. Let's just get an idea of how these can be used. Uh, this is the last little album I had made. It, it's not too very fancy, uh, not very thick either. Uh, I'm gonna see how my um, little people will work in a belly band. Here we go. We'll take this out for now. This is how they would look in a belly band. I think that's right cute. You could write something about them on another page. And let's just stick him in here too, just to see if he would look right. Yeah, all three of them would go in there. He would be the main character and the two behind him would be minor characters in the uh, book. We'll put that aside. Now, let's go with my cars. I have one that I started to cut out, and we'll cut him out now. Uh, this is my vintage car. Now this could go into the same type uh, album or junk journal as the uh, vintage people. I just wanted to show that there's another uh, item that you could put on the popsicle stick that would look right and fit right in. Let me get rid of some of these scraps. If you notice, I left the shadow underneath the a vintage car that would make my image just a little larger than uh, if I had cut it out. Okay, I'm going to use my rubber cement again and put my old car on. I have a little bit of extra glue on my stick, so I'm going to wipe it off with this piece of paper towel. Now I have my little auto uh, vintage truck there um, to include in my vintage junk journal. Now I'm going to give you some ideas for a nature journal and what you could put in it. I have some pictures of birds here. Uh, let me cut one of them up and we'll see what we can come up with. This uh, digital has a lot of uh, background blending and a few images behind the main uh, focus of the bird and uh, the birdhouse. So I'm cutting that extra uh, background off as I only want the, the main part of the digital. It has uh, a birdhouse hooked to a uh, tree trunk. So I'm gonna cut that off too. So basically what I want is the birdhouse with the bird on top. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute when I get through.
Now I may go back and distress some of these uh, pu uh, popsicle sticks with a uh, walnut stain or uh, another stain. But right now I'm gonna leave them that natural color. Uh, but I think um, this little birdhouse is gonna be really a cute addition into a uh, belly band or uh, a pocket in a nature uh, album. Now, isn't that cute? I really like that. And I think that would really look sharp inside of a, a pocket. Now I'm bringing out some uh, little digitals that are on this page here. And you can see they're all mixed up. Uh, the, the clothes and the faces and hats and everything. And so my, I asked my grandson to pick a head, a hat, a, a dress, and a pair of shoes um, for this uh, next one. And the, what I'm doing now is showing you what we can do with some of our digitals that don't fit into vintage or nature. They are more on the, uh, well, I call it wonky side. So let's see what we come up with. Now, these are the images that my grandson picked out. I don't know why he picked out all black and white, but that's what he picked out. First, I'm gonna put the little dress on. slide it down a little further next comes on her comes her head then on top of that she has uh, a bandana I don't know if you ever had a bad hair day and you took a bandana and wrapped it around your head um, to hide what your hair looked like, but this little character did. And this is what she looks like with her bandana on. Mine always fell over my eyes also. I'm trying to put them on, the pieces on, so that they will stay. Okay, she's almost finished. I'm going to put her legs on now. And there we are. There's our little housewife. She need a little more glue down here because I need to put the legs in. And I want her so that she would fit when she won't fall off when I put her in a pocket or a um, belly band. So isn't she cute? Now, that's for my wonky side of uh, crafting. Now let's see what else that we can dig up. I have some others that I have done previously. Here's that, my little person with a sunflower head. And I have one here that needed a pair of glasses. Actually, I'm probably the one that needs the glasses more. And here's one that's got wings on. Now let's see how they will look in a pocket. Let me pull out uh, this journal here, our album. And I have a page here with um, uh, pockets on it. And let's see what would happen if we should put them in a little pocket. I don't know what you think, but I think they would look adorable in a pocket. 
they are really cute even if I didn't make them so I hope I've given you some ideas of what you can do with your um, popsicle sticks if you have some and with some digitals which I'm sure everyone has some of those and uh, you, as you as you can see you don't have to use uh, people as such you can use uh, digitals like my bird nest um, on that was on a tree and um, my little uh, antique car and you can do buildings or whatever suits your fancy so let's pull them all together here and have a look and in the meantime I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, well, come back and see me again and see what else I have in store for you. And in the meantime, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And uh, I hope you'll have a great crafting day. Bye.